Hello everybody. I haven't did this type of video in a while and uh, so uh, it's time for a, a little update and a little um, uh, discussion. So uh, getting ready for a fan fest. So yippee. This is the last normal week. I got to start packing the not this Monday but next Monday. Uh, this week I got to get the money all together and ready to go and I'm just trying to get myself comfy here mm. <laughs> got my printer working so I got the ticket printed out and I got to get uh, the um, merchandise uh, uh, printed out before too long and also game wise Monday at nine o'clock my time uh, update <laughs> so uh, maybe I can get this edited uh, tomorrow because today is the 4th of November and uh, I gotta add an extra day for Ray on his stay at the Paw Spa because of the lady that's gonna pick him up, Catherine, she won't be able to on Sunday so he gets to spend an extra day even though I'll be home Sunday night and that's okay and we'll get it all worked out and looks like it's just you know it's uh, gonna be uh, gonna be me but I did it in 16 at the Paris so I can do it this year at the Rio and go into the Luxor for the after party so it's it's gonna be interesting and I as as usual um excuse me there as usual I'm looking forward to having tasty food and seeing my friends and hopefully uh, a little bit of gambling because I mean this is Vegas people <laughs> we gotta we gotta do a little gambling I just gotta be careful and hope for big early wins. I'd actually like to come home with money. <laughs> that's that's what I would love to do. So that's what's been going on. And uh, one other slightly thing is that I'm 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 trying to lose weight. And um, it's not easy. And I you know. Um, I see all these things about fat shaming and fat pride and fat acceptance and I come from a family of obese people. My uh, my father's side especially, mom's side a little bit but not as much as my dad's side and my dad had three brothers and only one brother is alive and from uh, He's in his uh, mid-70s, if I remember correctly. And uh, he's not doing too well from last I heard. But, um... But no, my, um, my uh, Uncle Dell, he died in 2005 from diabetes and kidney failure. My Uncle Mike, he died in, um... Oh, my goodness... I think he died in um, 13. I wish I remember. I, 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 I'm seeing him right now, you know, in my mind. <laughs> on the last time was my uh, cousin Kenneth's birthday, and he was on an oxygen tank. And, of course, as you know, my dad passed away in October of 2014. And um, he did. He, he, he tried his best. Um he was 300 pounds, and I was trying to be the, the, the cheerleader for him. And he would get the 299, and then it would go back up. And um, he just never got out. He, he ate out of boredom. And I did, too, when I visited him because, you know, that's where all the neat food was. <laughs> but my doctor at the time, Miss Dr. Smith, I know, oh, the pain, the pain, the pain. But anyway... <laughs> Dr. Smith told me, you know, you you got to uh, lose some weight. And he wasn't being mean about it. He didn't fat shame me. He never fat shamed my dad. I don't, um, he just, yeah, he, just, he wanted to call the refrigerator diet. Eat anything that's in the refrigerator and not outside. And, uh, well, <laughs> it's like, ew. I had to tell him the truth, you know, sometimes, you know, we do put certain things in the refrigerator. But I did stop buying white bread and, well, and cookies. I made sure I 
I still eat cookies and bread, but I don't buy them where they would be, and that includes tortillas and English muffins and muffins and stuff like that. I'm still going to, you know, if I'm out, like, in Vegas, and I see something I want to try and eat, I'm going to eat it. But when I get home, it's back to business as usual. Anyway, what I'm trying to say was, when he told me all this, I weighed 156 pounds. And um, for somebody who's three foot six, that's over 50 on the BMI scale. That is morbidly obese. And so I'm like, okay, you know, it is time. And I, um, not, I mean, I don't get out, but I make sure I try to do leg lifts, which is also good for my hips. And losing weight is good for my hips, too. And um, so I try to do... Uh, exercises simple um i'm up to uh 30 leg lifts and ups and, i call them ups and downs i just get up from my stool my step stool and i go back down and i go up and i go back down and just back and forth try to get some momentum as well as stamina because on monday it's up to 30 it was 25 and i even do when i'm laying in bed i even do back kicks you know, just to do something, something to move the body. Because I'm not going to be able to do be on a treadmill. I'd ride a bike. No, that ain't going to happen. Swimming, maybe. But I'm, I'm what the Japanese would call a hammer. I sink to the bottom. I'm not a very good swimmer. I like to splash in the water and move around, and that's good, too. So, um... Uh, from since I started, and also <laughs> in Vegas, if there's a buffet, I have a thing I call the one scoop rule. That way you get a little bit of everything. Don't force yourself to finish. But anyway, um, I know I say that a lot. But anyway, right now, as of Friday, November 2nd, I weighed myself, and I'm down to 122.1. So I'm very proud of it. Well... You put that into the BMI calculator, I'm still obese. I won't be, I would be 70, to be non-obese, just to be overweight, you have to be like 80 pounds. To be normal weight would be 65 pounds for me. And in my mind, I mean, that, that just feels like anorexic. But, though, you know, I guess I need to find out. <laughs> so, uh, I try to um, not discourage myself. There's been times like, why am I doing this? Oh, yeah, to be healthier. So, I've set up small, teeny tiny goals to go along with the big goal. My big goal is to get to 100 or below that, like 99. That's my big goal for right now. It's still in the obese category. Can you believe it? 99 pounds for, for even me is still obese. Well, I'm still going to be happy. I'm not going to celebrate by eating. Um, I uh, made up a list of, uh, of days that I can go teeny tiny you know a little bit overboard like my trip because I want to have fun and I you know uh, my my family like to eat and so do I and I love chocolates and sweets and but just gotta you can, I can still have them I just can't have as much in fact after this I'm me and Ray's gonna have a little bit of peanut butter to polish off the day and I even told my doctor that and he goes you know just it's not bad just don't overdo it. So my mini goals is to get down one pound. That's my mini goal. And when I saw 122.1, I'm like, holy moly. That just, it just makes me happy even though I go to the BMI school and it goes, you're still obese. Yeah, well, I'm going to see what I do. I don't think I'm ever going to be. I, I, I don't consider myself pretty I don't consider myself beautiful because you know you spend you know being an LP people go oh aren't you just the cutest thing and well eh, uh, 
The only people that can do cute ride is in Japan. <laughs> but, um, I just don't see myself like that. I, 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 I see myself as ugly. M not horribly disfigured, but definitely not pretty. So, uh, but even saying that, I'm still, and my doctor did bef before he, uh, left the, uh, practice, he said he could start, he started seeing a difference in me, and it's that, I like that, and so maybe someday, um, I can get out of the obese and get into the overweight category. <laughs> yeah, I'm not obese, I'm just overweight. So, that's the game plan. That's what I'm hoping for. And, uh, so, you shouldn't shame anybody for anything. I mean, height shaming, eh, no. Body shaming, if, you know, you like if you got a, a, a scar or you've been burned, no. And, uh, really, don't, I mean, don't go out of your way to shame somebody who is obese or overweight. But then again, the obese people, the, um, you're not, you really, I mean, there are health concerns. You may not see it now, but you will see it when you get older. Like I saw it with my family. My mom, not, I mean, she was overweight, but she wasn't obese. She still had diabetes. She's, she still died from complications. So you got to take care of yourself as much as possible, but I know it's a fine line between taking care of yourself and enjoying life. And I am going to do the best that I can. I want to be the wild card in the family because I do not have diabetes. And uh, the nurse there, um, she was she was the assistant to my to Doctor Smith, and she's still there. And she says, I'm not even pre-diabetic. So I want I want to be the family wild card that this don't happen. And, you know, I'm hoping my sister don't doesn't have it either. Because it's not going to be easy. But it will be what it will be. And I hope it's for the best. Anyway, thank you all for letting me blather on. Uh, the next report will hopefully be more about FanFast and all the things I have to do to get everything done. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a good week. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.